Hello everybody and welcome back to the Warpin Realms. It's been about 10 months and all I have to show for it is a shiny new intro. Today I'm making kind of a, a high society magus for my gene stealer cult. I love the idea of them being insidious and getting into all sorts of echelons of society. So to do so I'm going to be using your brain from the Eldar and a Slanesh Herald character from uh, Age of Sigmar. I know that is definitely heresy, but I think the demonet heads work really well as alien bug cultists for, uh, for females too. This conversion was actually pretty straightforward. It was basically just painting a selection of head, arms, and hair pieces, and staff as well, I suppose. Uh, the hard part came from just being how small some of the pieces were, so definitely had to be careful. One thing I like about pinning as well is, aside from just being a little more resilient to wear and tear and breakage, uh, I find when you're actually gluing the pieces together, uh, it's a little more malleable and you can really kind of get the pose you want. One tip I find useful for head swaps like this too is there's a surprising amount of difference it can make from turning to look a certain way. Uh, this one I just wanted the straightforward look of someone who's entirely in control of the situation and doesn't care about what's going on around them, but a simple look to the left or right can really change the demeanor of the model. Of course, a high society magus needs a high society staff as well. So to create it, we're going to be using a Thousand Suns Sorcerer Arm, or the staff thereof at least, and the kind of top banner portion of a Locus, uh, elite character for the cult. And here it is after being pinned and glued together. Definitely tiny pieces, so some really careful ones to work with for sure. I touched on it earlier, but a big reason for pinning, especially for example with uh, a weapon like this one, is it makes it much stronger than just using straight glue. I didn't actually film this section, but I ran into a problem when gluing on the, the staff arm, because I didn't take into account how big her hair is, but uh, luckily it worked out. So I did spend quite a bit of time deliberating on what to do with her left arm. Uh, I ended up deciding to go with this kind of culty, bug-like claw arm to kind of really symbolize that the insurrection is happening and that this character is fully invested themselves in, in the bug life at this point. With that, she is basically finished. I wanted her to have a exotic familiar also, so I created this exotic cat stealer creature. It's kind of terrifying, but I like it. When I can, I like my conversions to still have the proper or the official base size, so I built up some rubble to make this almost catwalk ramp for her. With that, my high society magus is complete. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.